Hi guys, this is Mike at uh, MikeCarter.com and we're here today with the uh, mainstream Asus laptop. This is a 15.6 inch uh, Asus uh, K53S laptop. Uh, we have here. This is actually the the, the laptop or uh, the series of laptops Asus is going to, to offer uh, in uh, 2011 and this uh, particular laptops will come with some very good pricing and uh, some very nice features as well. Uh, what we have here is the K53S version which comes with uh, powerful hardware and uh, uh, quite nice uh, build constructions the construction and quality. First we're going to take a quick look at, uh, at the exterior of this device. Uh, what we have here is the black version. Uh, you can notice that uh, the lid is covered in a textured plastic. It looks uh, overall uh, quite okay. Uh, I'm sure that in time however this will catch, it will catch dirt but uh, it's quite resistant to, to scratches and fingerprints so should be quite reliable. The, the lid doesn't bend. It's quite sturdy. Of course, you get the Asus logo here on the top. Uh, let's also take a quick look at the bottom. There's a, a texture uh, finish for the bottom as well. And you can see that uh, opening this bay here, you, got, you get access to hard drive, which is here. And memory, this one, I believe, can uh, can uh, get up to 16 gigabyte of memory. There are 8 gigabyte of memory installed right now on this device. Um, you have here the battery, there's a 6L uh, 52 watt hour battery, so pretty okay, but you're not uh, supposed to, to get uh, very good uh, battery life because this is quite powerful and uh, it's not really meant for portability. Let's take a quick look on the sides. On this particular side you have the Kensington lock here, DVD uh, unit, multi-recorder, DVD unit, uh, two USB ports, this is a mouse I've inserted in one of the USB ports. Um, microphone and headset and on the front what you have here are the status LEDs a couple of cooling vents here card reader right here on this other side there's another USB and an HDMI a VGA, LAN, a DC in and another cooling vent it's quite, uh, this DC in uh, slot would have been nicer right here because the cable is going to get in the way of this cooling, uh, cooling fan but overall very solid built device. Let's open the lid and of course you're going to notice that the screen is glossy 15.6 uh, inch display like I said 1366 by 768 uh, pixel resolution which is quite uh, not that uh, not that much for, uh, for a big screen like this uh, still this means that it will be capable of uh, running games and stuff like this quite easily. Uh, you also uh, get a very nice finish uh, for the palm rest and this area around the keys with uh, metallic, uh, metallic al aluminum uh, uh, finish used for, for this particular area. Nice track pad, pretty, pretty big. I'm not sure if you can see this. You should be able to see it now. Nice track pad, you have it here, pretty wide. and. Uh, to, uh, single click buttons so very nice they're a bit noisy but very easy to press and start to sell these right here beneath the trackpad as for the keyboard you have a standard uh, layout keyboard uh, full size of course and you also get numpad keys right here on the, on the side so overall pretty nice uh, there's no um, actually no flex at all and the keyboard is not uh, not noisy except for space of course when you think space this is going to be uh, a little bit noisy and as for speakers there's al there are alter cleansing speakers inside placed right here on top of the keyboard so pretty nice as well like i've told you uh, i've said i've inst uh, i've uh, connected the mouse you have here the mouse and i'm going to show you a couple of things about this first of all let's see windows rating we're now on battery so let's see what we have here windows rating for this particular device 5.6 with the lowest uh, mark for let's see if we can zoom in here a little bit the lowest mark is for graphics so still uh, in terms of hardware this com this one comes with core i7 latest generation core i7 processor so it's the core i7 2630qm of the 2 gigahertz uh, 4 GB of RAM, they're not 8 like, like I said previously, but you can install up to 16 in, inside this one. 
500 gigabyte uh, hard drive. As for graphics, you got the NVIDIA uh, GT 540M graphics, which is quite uh, the mainstream uh, graphic option from NVIDIA uh, may, uh, for the new generation uh, Sandy Bridge Intel platform. Okay, so like I said, uh, graphics uh, score 5.6, pretty much all the other things are better. Okay, now let's go ahead and try and run a couple of clips on this one. We shouldn't have, we should have no problems with it. Still, I'm going to start with this one, which is the Samsung Oceanic Life uh, demo. It's a 1080p, 40 megabits per second clip should run no problem on this one and if, if this one is able to okay not this uh, I have here where I should have should have media player classic okay and let's try and play the clip with media player classic and if it's going to be able to play this 40 megabits per second clip then this means it will be able to play any other types of, uh, of uh, 1080p content or lower and as you can see, it can easily play this clip. Sound is quite okay as well. You can easily seek. Seeking is not that fast, but still, the clip is very playable. If you're going to take a quick look at processor load, you'll see that only like five percent of the processor is now occupied by playing playing this clip so no problem at all with this with this device okay uh, so that was the 1080p clip let's uh, try and open the browser right now and uh, see if we, we can stream something from youtube 1080p clip so this is the 1080p clip from YouTube and you're going to see that it's going to be able to play this one no problem as well. Seeking works great. So this is the 1080p clip from YouTube. So no problem with this one as well. Because like you know the screen is glossy so you won't be, really be able to use it outside like we're trying to use it now. Overall, very solid performance with very solid multimedia device. Now, uh, we're also going to have a look at the game. I've installed uh, Modern Warfare 2. We have here the single player. I'm going to try and see if this one is playable as well. Oh, uh, not a campaign. Okay. This is going to take a while, so I'm not really going to wait. Let's go ahead and go ahead and close that one. What the hell kind of name is so? So the process. I'm going to start it again. Modern warfare single player. No. Okay. Uh, you see options. We're on uh, 1366 by 768, which is native resolution, and details are set on automatically, and actually to maximum. I'm going to try solo play. I'm going to try one of these missions. I'm going to see that you can actually play this one very easily. And if you can play Modern Warfare with all details maximum, you can for sure play other titles like Crisis 2 and all the others. Game is fairly playable as you can see. There's actually no lag at all. Not as good. But that, that has nothing to do with the actual game. Throwing a grenade at me. Throwing a grenade back. So the game is playable, but I'm not very good at it. I'm actually playing it. So 
still overall solid performance out of this one. Okay, I believe it's it. This is it with this game. Uh, I, ha I don't have the time to actually try some other games, but you should be able to play Black Ops on it and pretty much all the other stuff. Uh, let's see, battery life. So, you see, uh, with the playing game, uh, it says that only 44 minutes uh, are remaining right now. The uh, this one was actually loaded before I, I opened it. It was uh, fully loaded, the battery, before I opened it. So, in uh, 10 minutes, like uh, the, in the 10 minutes of this clip, managed to, to uh, spend almost 20% of the battery. So, not really a portable device, like I said, but still you get a proper, a proper battery in there. Uh, in case you need it. Uh, now, in terms of pricing, this one is probably going to get uh, to around 1,000 one bucks. The box uh, prices haven't yet been officially released, and this product is not yet available on the market, but should be available soon, maybe by May or even June. So around 1,000 uh, bucks, at least for this uh, version with the Core i7 processor. Uh, there's also going to be version. There are going to be versions with Core i5 processor and Nvidia 520M graphics, which will be cheaper. Um, also, for more details, you should go on the site on mikesquarter.com, where we're going to find uh, the written review, which is going to be quite thorough, and uh, going to find uh, test results and benchmark results uh, on the tests. Uh, I uh, I ran on this one like 3D Mark, uh, 3D Mark Vantage, PC Mark, and a couple of others. So um, I believe that's all for today. That was Mike uh, with uh, the ASUS K53S. Uh, thank you very much for watching.